This is the 2018 Yenko SC Chevrolet Silverado 1500, and it's built in New Jersey by a company called Specialty Vehicle Engineering. Though the original Yenko brand of dealership upgrades is long gone, SVE keeps the image alive through its upgrade kits offered for several General Motors vehicles. For the 2018 Yenko SC Silverado, SVE takes a regular Silverado 1500 Z71 and shoehorns a custom-built 6.8-liter supercharged V8 under the hood with nearly every performance part imaginable. The result is an 800-horsepower truck with 4WD able to outgun most sports cars on the road. Best of all, anyone can order the truck through there. At the heart of specialty vehicle engineering's Yenko Silverado build is a custom-built, 6.8-liter V8 based on GM's 6.2-liter LT1 V8. The all-aluminum engine is then given a forged steel crankshaft, H-beam connecting rods, forged aluminum pistons, upgraded direct fuel injectors, and CNC porting of the LT1's cylinder heads for more airflow. In other words, nothing is stock. Attached to the small block Chevy are stainless steel headers connected to high-flow catalytic converts on the dual exhaust system. A root-style supercharger is mounted in the engine's valley and provides the boost to match the extra fuel getting dumped into each cylinder. The final result is 800 horsepower and 750 pound-feet of torque on pump gas. But engine upgrades are only part of the package. SVE works on the Silverado's handling by adding a 2-inch suspension drop for the front suspension and a 5-inch drop for the rear leaf springs. The front sway bar is ditched for a larger, 1.5-inch thick replacement. The stock wheels are tires are ditched for 305-40 per Rayamir 22 series meets backed by GM's performance brake package that includes 16.1-inch vented rotors and 6-piston calipers. Unfortunately, SVE doesn't make any performance claims regarding 0 to 60 mph times, quarter mile performance, or top speed. Our best guess, considering the truck's power, traction, and 4, 90 pound curb weight, we'd say 60 mph would come in 4.5 seconds, the quarter mile would pass by in 11 seconds at 120 mph and on to a top speed of 150 mph. SVE makes the Silverado 1500 look the part too. They add a custom vented hood, racing stripes, for Yenko badges to the outside, a 6.8-liter badge on the grill, and an 800-horsepower badge on the tailgate. On the inside, customers can order the $2,495 houndstooth seating package with cloth and leather seats with white contrast stitching and embroidered headrests. Custom door sill plates and Yenko floor mats round out the interior. The truck comes with its own leather-bound portfolio for the owner's manual and Monroni window sticker too. Both key fobs are also upgraded with the truck's build number. Speaking of build numbers, SVE is limiting the Yenko Silverado to only 25 builds for 2018. That means supplies are in extremely short supply. As for price, SVE will build the Yenko Silverado for $46,995, including parts and labor. What that doesn't include is the truck, which for what's needed for the build, prices start around $45,500. All in, a customer can expect to pay nearly $100,000 for a completed build. While that's rather expensive for a single-cab Silverado, it's hard to complain about 800 horsepower and full-time 4WD. That said, we do have reservations about the dependability of the Silverado stock parts. The 6-speed automatic, transfer case, and G80 automatic locking rear differential likely aren't rated for 750 pound-feet of torque. The most these parts would see from the factory is 460 pound-feet from the stock 6.2-liter V8. Regardless, the truck is insanely cool and should be a complete riot to drive. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Would you buy this over other high-performance vehicles like, say, the Dodge Demon, Chevy Camaro Z01, or even the Ford Shelby Mustang GT350?
The 2019 Pilot is set to receive a corporate makeover with a more aggressive looking front end, a new grille and different LED headlamps. Outback, Honda has applied some Accord style taillights that are partly covered up in the prototype pictured here, along with a different tailgate and rear bumper. While the cosmetic changes will be minor, there are some fairly major changes in store for the updated Pilot. The SUV is expected to add a hybrid powertrain from 2019 onward, which is rumored to be shared with the Odyssey minivan as well. The system will be a version of the two-motor hybrid drivetrain currently found in the Honda Accord, which pairs a 2.0-liter engine with an electric drive system. The standard pilot's engine, a 3.5-liter V6, will remain in non-hybrid versions of the SUV. The 2019 Honda Pilot should debut sometime later this year, perhaps as early as the 2018 New York Auto Show in March. The Tesla Semi isn't officially on the market for companies to haul items cross-country, but it seems it's been spotted out in the wild, in what some are saying could be a test for a future truck route. A passerby caught the semi being driven on a freeway in Sacramento. The sleek, silver, Terminator-like semi can be seen from the front and its side, as it moved cargo-less along the road. While its sighting may seem far from anything Tesla-related, the city is situated along a route between the Tesla factory in Fremont and Gigafactory 1 in Sparks, Nevada. CarBlock Electric reported that last year, Tesla VP of Truck Programs Jerome Gillen said Tesla would essentially be the first customer for the line of trucks. The plan is to transport items between the two facilities, so the Tesla semis could soon be a regular sight on Interstate 80. This isn't the first sighting of the vehicle on the streets. A video of the truck burning rubber on city streets surfaced just last week. Without the trailer, the truck is set to go from 0 to 60 in 5 seconds and it seems that the employees at Tesla are really trying to test out those figures. The semi first debuted in showy fashion in November, with founder Elon Musk boasting that it would be able to travel 500 miles on a single electric charge. Businesses could potentially save money in comparison to a diesel semi, and that fact has helped lure a number of orders for a truck that isn't expected to go into production until 2019. Already, companies such as Walmart, DHL, Budweiser, Cisco, PepsiCo and UPS have placed orders with Tesla, Electric has previously reported. This is despite the costly price tags associated with the semi, one version of the truck with a 300-mile range will cost $150,000 while the 500-mile version will cost $180,000. Besides its regular roster of cars, Tesla has other vehicles in line for production along with the Semi. Tesla also announced late last year that it will be making a pickup truck that is slightly bigger than a Ford F-150, once the company's Model Y, a crossover vehicle, is released. Chevrolet's 2018 Silverado Centennial Edition shows a major truck evolution since the brand's first pickup debuted in 1918. Leslie Kendall, curator of the Peterson Automotive Museum in Los Angeles said, It's night and day. 100 years ago this January, Chevrolet introduced a Series 490 light delivery. The Series 490 was a stripped-out passenger car that replaced its body with a pickup bed and added stronger springs to card crops from farms to the city. Its four-cylinder engine made 24 horsepower. Customers paid $490 for the privilege. By contrast, the 2018 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 Centennial Edition is a 5,300-pound truck that comfortably seats five passengers and tows nearly six tons. All Centennial Editions have heated leather seats and an off-road suspension package. The engine is a 5.3-liter V8 with 355 horsepower. Its starting price is $55,000. The Series 490 came just six months after Ford created the segment with his Model TT. 
Together the two trucks kicked off the fiercest and most successful rivalry in automotive history, Kendall said. Today, the Silverado is the top-selling vehicle in the General Motors portfolio. GM sold more than 585,000 Silverados in 2017, good enough for second place among all passenger vehicles, according to industry research firm Autodata Corporation. Chevrolet has sold an estimated 85 million trucks since the launch of the Series 490. Kendall said, the early trucks were beyond basic. They went from strict utility to personal vehicles, then to lifestyle and then the highest means of self-expression. The 100-year milestone is meaningful to Chevrolet. The company celebrated by hosting loyal customers at the Chevy Truck Centennial event at Texas Motor Speedway in December. Alan Beatty, president of General Motors North American Operations, told Trucks.com, Trucks have always been really the heart of Chevrolet. Inside the Speedway, the public tested towing capabilities of new trucks and crawled up steep inclines in the off-road Colorado ZR2. Retired NASCAR driver Dale Earnhardt Jr. spoke about his first car, a Chevrolet C10 pickup. He also introduced the all-new 2019 Silverado 1500, which was flown in by helicopter. Many of those in attendance have owned several Chevrolet truck models in their lifetime. They raved about the brand's toughness and dependability. Martin Gallegos, a longtime Silverado owner from Round Rock, Texas said, They've never let me down. If I won any other truck in the lottery I'd sell it and buy a Chevy. The automaker also showed off its Silverado Centennial Edition. It featured the same shade of midnight blue and retro-style Chevrolet Bodie badge found on trucks from nearly a century ago. One month later Trucks.com tested the Centennial Edition pickup. It embodies the monumental shift that pickup trucks have undergone in the past 100 years. The truck's standard 22-inch wheels and LED headlamps glistened in front of the main entrance. The Silverado Centennial has chrome on the tow hooks, door handles, side mirrors and running boards. A trip to the Peterson Museum, which displays important vehicles throughout automotive history, showed a stark difference between the Spartan trucks of yesteryear and modern-day style and flair. Kendall said, there's so many embellishments you never would have seen years ago. It's full leather interior. Vibrant large touchscreen and standard Wi-Fi connection are a departure from the interiors of the historic trucks Kendall passes in the museum halls each day. He said, it used to just be a bench seat. Modern pickup trucks are among the most well-appointed vehicles on the road. Automakers have stuffed new models with more luxury and technology as consumer preference shifts from small passenger cars to larger light trucks a category that includes crossovers, SUVs and pickups. The average transaction price of a full-size light-duty pickup truck in 2017 was $40,070, a higher price than the average vehicle on sale at $31,781, according to according to market research firm JD Power. That's also a sharp increase of 23.5% over the past five years. In 2012, a pickup cost an average of $32,444, according to J.D. Power. Pickup trucks and other large vehicles are extremely valuable to automakers because they generate higher profit margins than smaller cars. Ford sold 800,000 F-Series trucks in the U.S. in 2017. Due to its robust mid-size, full-size and heavy-duty lineup, GM is nearing 1 million annual truck sales. The Silverado and its GMC Sierra sibling, combined with the mid-sized Chevrolet Colorado and GMC Canyon, sold 948,909 units in 2017. The stakes have never been higher. Though trucks have changed from their blue-collar routes, they have always been tough vehicles that can't handle anything, Kendall said. 
At the centennial event GM carted passengers in historic trucks around the streets of Fort Worth, Texas. The experience tied the common threads between the older models and newer ones. A vintage 1926 Chevrolet Superior Series X pickup, completely original but for an aftermarket starter, rode on wood spoke wheels and its open-air cabin created chilly conditions at speed. An all-black 1956 Chevy 3100 stepside glistened with unmistakable styling and a wooden bed lined with metal slats. A two-tone 1978 Performance Classic Custom demonstrated the quandary of combining a modern 335-horsepower V8 engine with 40-year-old steering and braking components. Though all three of the trucks now live quiet, Climate Controlled lives in the GM Heritage Center in Sterling Heights, Michigan, each seemed ready to haul a load. The go-anywhere-and-do-anything reputation has made pickup trucks extremely desirable for generations, Kendall said. Despite its flashy add-ons and plush appointments, the 2018 Silverado Centennial Edition has the same basic principles as its predecessors. He said, it's gotten more luxurious, but you can still haul a hell of a load in this.